Hi everybody, I'm Andrew Pike, and you probably know me as a designer, but what you may not know about me is that I actually really love to cook. There's nothing I enjoy more than when I have time to get into my kitchen, roll up my sleeves, and make a beautiful meal. So today, I'm going to take you through a couple tips and tricks that I like to use to not only prep a meal, but store it and also set a beautiful table setting. But the first thing I want to tell you about is my secret weapon, and that is this little buddy right here. This is the Vardagen tea towel from Ikea, and I absolutely love it for so many reasons. It's really soft and really absorbent, and when you wash it, it looks like linen. So I think it's a beautiful addition to any kitchen to hang on your dishwasher or on your stove. Whenever I'm cooking, I always have one tucked into my back pocket to clean up my hands or those little spills that happen along the way. But it's also a secret weapon for something else that I'm gonna share with you a little bit later. So we all know that kitchen hygiene is really important. So it's good to have different cutting boards that serve different purposes. I like to use this simple system to keep it straight in my mind. The big cutting board is always for meat and fish, and the small cutting boards are for vegetables. And that way, they don't get mixed up, and I'm at a very low risk for cross-contamination. So as a designer, I even like my storage jars to look pretty stylish. So I love this chic little bamboo bit that they come with, because let's face it, even the interior of my fridge is pretty well styled. But when I'm sending meals to my partner at work or I'm going to store something to freeze it, they come with an optional clip-on plastic lid, which is perfect for both of those options. So then I just grab a label, write the date on the top, put that right on that lid, and then when I find that in the fridge or the freezer days later, I'm never wondering how long it's been there. So when I've cooked a lovely meal, I also want to have that meal in a beautiful environment. But that doesn't mean that a table setting has to cost a lot of money or take a lot of time. I like to start with a lovely placemat, and this little round number with all that beautiful seagrass texture and the black detailing is so chic. So I start with that. I love to layer my dishes. So I'll start with a pale gray dinner plate, but then I'm going to interject just a white salad plate to kind of break it up a little bit. Then I'm going to throw a gray bowl on the top. And already, that's really quite charming. So I also found this great new black cutlery from Ikea, which I love, because it's so chic and on trend right now, and it ties in beautifully to the black detailing in the placemat. It really makes a fantastic addition to any tablescape. But here's the trick. Remember I said I had a secret weapon earlier? Well, yeah, that's the Verdog and tea towel. And this baby not only makes a great tea towel, it also makes a beautiful casual fabric dinner napkin. So I'm gonna take a fresh one, I'm just gonna lay that out flat on the table, I'm gonna take the fork, stick that right in the middle, give it a little bit of a twist, hold it all together, pop that right in a bowl, and there's a lovely little cabbage rose. So in my mind, no dining table is complete without a little bit of candlelight. So I'm just going to add this trio of black candle holders here, which ties in so nicely to all the black details on the placement and the cutlery. I'm also going to use these little ramekins I have. These are just little food dishes that you can use for dips or whatever else you want to do. But I'm just going to fill them with water and then add a couple of floating candles. So cute and so easy to do. And if you don't have those ramekins, it can be absolutely anything. It can be a small wine glass, it can be a drinking glass, it could even be a mason jar. It's whatever you have that can hold water because whatever holds water can float a candle. And when I'm placing tall candles on a table, I always like to place them to one side because I don't like anything in my way when I'm trying to have a conversation with my dinner guest. And that also leaves the other side of the table free to put your food platters. So the table is set, the candles are lit, and the food is all ready to go. And for me, there's only one thing missing from a beautiful tablescape. I always love just a tiny bit of freshness, but that doesn't mean you have to spend a lot of money or go to a lot of effort to get fresh flowers. I have a little bit of leftover rosemary, and that's the perfect touch to just add a little something extra to the tablescape. Now, I may have actually misspoken because there is one more thing that's missing. 
and that's this beautiful glass of wine that I'm going to share with my partner over this lovely meal. So just remember, preparing and setting up for a meal doesn't have to take a lot of time or cost a lot of money to live life beautifully. Bon appétit.